We're at home today with Vaughan Marshall, trainer of Rascalian, linebackers seeking the stars and a host of other top horses. Uh, Vaughan, firstly, thanks for your time. Pleasure, Graham. Thank you for coming out. So last year you were blessed with two very talented three-year-olds, linebacker and Rascalian. Rascalian kind of lived in the shadow of linebacker throughout the season, but you must have been well pleased with Rascalian's first run as a four-year-old. Yes, Graham, I really was. <clears throat> you know, it wasn't the intention to run him in that race. I had him in the graduation 1400. Um, unfortunately, that, that didn't hold up, so I had to go plan B. But um, I thought he acquitted himself very, very well. Um, it was his first decent hard workout of the season, so he came through with flying colours, in my opinion. Only will, will only benefit from the run. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Now, obviously, keeping linebacker and Rascalian apart is a bit of a challenge. Firstly, linebacker, we haven't seen him as a four-year-old. What are his immediate plans? Um, at this stage, we, we're aiming for the Greenpoint Stakes, um, and we'll see how he runs there. But he's, he, he did have a gallop at Kenilworth the other day, and Grant was very pleased with him. Uh, he gallops again on the 20th for the merchants' meeting, um, and the, the uh, Greenpoint is on the 6th of December. So, you know, he would have, in effect, have had three good hard gallops before then. And will Rascalian be in the green point as well? No, no, I'm going to try and keep them apart as, as much as I can until the group ones, obviously, and then, then they've got to take their chances, you know. So um, Rascalian, uh, I've got a, there's a pinnacle or else the peninsula handicap. We'll just see which one pans out for him. Now, I mentioned a moment ago that, uh, that Rascalian lived in the shadow of linebacker and the form book is clear for everybody to see. Have you seen anything in the interim, in the early part of their four-year-old career that suggests Rascalian might be able to bridge that gap? Graham, um, Rascalian, he has filled out and he's, he's, he's strengthened up really, really well. But, you know, uh, every jockey who rides linebacker just says that he's an absolute line, you know. And, and I, I, was, I was hoping that Rascalian would, um, would strengthen up and be of, of a competition to him. But... Um, I think the races will tell, but I, you know, deep down, I hope they 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 pretty close together. Fair to say, at this very early stage, and it is an early stage, that for both Rascalian and Linebacker, ultimately the Cape Met is the objective. Yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Now there's lots of competition around, uh, not only in the Western Cape but nationally. Uh, we saw Comedy Ding finish third behind Rascalian in the Cape Mile. Gave the impression that these days a mile might be a little bit on the sharp side for Comedy Ding. The pace was perhaps uh, uh, a little soft for him in that race, as it was perhaps for Rascalian. But there's plenty of scope for improvement for a Comedy Ding. And then obviously Rainbow Bridge is the horse with the target on his back. Absolutely, you know, and then he just seems to get better better with age so you know people write him off at, the, at their own peril you know he's, he's been a very very good horse and I'm sure Eric will have him tuned up for the season. Seeking the Stars is another top quality individual and he won the match mistakes in fine fettle showing great courage in the last 200 meters after setting a really good gallop. Must be a bit frustrating for you that Although he possibly gets about 1,400 metres, is definitely his best trip, and there are not too many opportunities around. You're quite right, uh, Graham. I mean, <clears throat> 1,400 is, is his top, but it, it's it's a bit um, baffling because his mother won, won the Winter Oaks. So being by, by Vercingetrix out of a, a, an Oaks winner, you'd expect him to get the mile pretty easily, but um, that last 100 tells, you know. But it may be because of the way that he races, obviously. But um, he, he's going to run in the, in the uh, Greenpoint Stakes, and we'll see how we go. The other day, you won a richly endowed sales race, the CTS uh, De Grendel Ready to Run Sales Cup, I think is the full and official name of the race, albeit narrowly from uh, the one gate with 55er, a son of Versing Gederix. That was over 1,400 metres. Uh, does he look like a guinea's horse, or is that a bit of a stretch? No, Graham, I, I think in time he'll go the 1600, but, you know, he's quite a weak horse and, and I think the, the, the guineas will come too soon for, soon for him. Uh, maybe we'll, we might look at, at, you know, later on the, the KZN guineas and something like that, but uh, the, the Cape guineas, I think, will be too soon for him. You've done so well in the guineas. You and Dean Kanama have uh, won many guineas in the past. And uh, so if it's not 55er, who have you got waiting in the wings? Uh, it's very hard to say. I, I have a maiden that's only run once and um, he takes his chances on Saturday. So, you know, after Saturday we'll see exactly where we are. But uh, his, we've had a bit of a rushed uh, prep with him um, through the gelding and that went a bit wrong. But um, let's just see how he runs on Saturday. 
two-year-old season is upon us and uh, it's always an exciting time of the year i'm not quite sure when exactly the first juvenile maiden is i think it's in november sometime or perhaps even in december got anything that's lined up for the early races and i don't you know obviously we it's too soon to mention names and yeah. uh because uh, the best laid plans of mice and men can go awry but have you are you well pleased with the team of two-year-olds that you have yes i've got two colts and two fillies who are very forward um um, I'm a bit slow this year because predominantly uh, I've got a lot of William Longswords and um, they, they're going to need a bit of time as, as we know. So um, <clears throat> I'll make hay with, with those couple that I've got early on. Yeah, yeah. we seem to start the two-year-old season later and later and later and yet the first listed race is already on Met Day as we know yeah. so uh, you don't have too much time to get them ready. No, exactly. I know we, we, our first juvenile race used to be the first Saturday in, in November. It's now the last Saturday in November. So it's it's four weeks later, which you know is quite taxing to get those horses ready for the for the race on Met Day. Just going back to the three-year-olds and your hopefully planned assault on the Guineas, which is just about a month away. Fair to say that you don't have the strength that you had last year with Rascalian and Linebacker. Um, <clears throat> yes, possibly. Yeah, 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 that, that would be a, a true assessment of it. But um, I'm hoping that one or two of them, with a bit of time, will come through and and. And by the time the winter season comes, then then we'll be um, up to force again. Um, I've got a, a very good uh, William Longsword who won second time out, a horse called Voldemort. Um, I was hoping that he would be a Guinea's horse, but um, uh, Grant rode him at, at Durmal the other day and said that we should give him a bit more time. So that we've gone that route with him. Um, <clears throat> and um, we'll just wait and see how we go with us. So as things stand, linebacker set to fly the flag for the stable. Yes, I would say so, yes. yes. One last question, Vaughan, because over the years you've uh, gained a reputation uh, as being a great picker of yearlings. So I'm going to throw you a little bit of a curve ball now. This wasn't a planned question. Um, what is the one characteristic, if there is such a thing, a one characteristic in a yearling that you really look for? Well, I think um, <clears throat> size and, 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 and the athletic walk, you know, but um, I just remember words that were... were, 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 were spoken to me by, by a very good judge, um, Reggie Passmore, when I, at my first yearling sale, and he came along and, and helped me. And, and he just said to me, when you pull a horse out, out the, the stable to look at him, don't find a reason to like him. You either like him or you don't. And don't feel obligated to, to spend your time looking at him. If you don't like him, put him back in the box and go on and look at the next one. But that initial um, first impression is the most important one. Vaughan? Pleasure being at home with you. Thanks for your time. We'll catch up again soon. Thank you, Graham. Thanks very much.